So with macOS High Sierra, Apple actually added native eGPU support to MacBooks and Macs. If you're not familiar, eGPU stands for External Graphics Processing Unit or External GPU. And it allows you basically to use an external graphics card in an eGPU housing, plugged in usually via Thunderbolt to your Mac and actually use that graphics card as if it was built into the laptop. And so what that does is it gives you much, much more power graphically, more like desktop power and that kind of stuff, instead of what was originally put into your MacBook. The only issue with this is that Apple has decided for their own reasons that they only accept AMD cards and in specific these cards, which I'll link to below if you want a full list. So what if you have an NVIDIA card? Or what if you just prefer NVIDIA? Can you use it? Thanks to a very crafty developer over on eGPU.io, uh, now you can. So Freak, spelt with a three and a four, over on this forum actually created a clever little script that does all of the things automatically for you. Um, it edits in the kext cache, it does all this other fun stuff. You don't, you don't need to really know exactly what it's doing. If you do wanna know, I'll leave a link below so you can kind of rummage through all of that. But in this video, really quick, I'm just gonna show you how to use his script so that you can use NVIDIA cards with your Mac eGPU. Okay, now first, we need an eGPU housing. Now I'm using the Razer Core X, which is the newest core from Razer. It's an eGPU housing that's really large, so it's future-proofed because any other cards that are coming out after will still fit in it if you wanted to upgrade down the row, which I like about it. Um, it also is Mac capable and compatible, and it's actually competitively priced. Now, if you want to check that one out, I'll leave the link below. Otherwise, I'll leave a link below to a bunch of other ones. You really just need to make sure that they fit the card that you want to use and that they have enough power to power the card that you want to use. A lot of them will have like compatible cards listed next to them. So just check that. And that obviously it is Mac compatible. That makes a huge difference in this whole process. Okay, the next, we need an actual GPU. So depending on whichever one you want to use, again, I will leave some links below to a few that if you want to check those ones out. But yeah, grab whatever card you want and then we can head to the next step. Okay, now for the actual procedure. Uh, we need to disable SIP, which is a security protocol that kind of blocks this. In order to do that, we're gonna turn off our computer. Then we're gonna turn it back on while holding Command and R at the same time while it's booting up, and then keep holding that until you get to the recovery screen. When you do, select Utilities at the top and select Terminal. In Terminal, you're gonna type the following with hitting Enter at the end of the line. After that, the computer will reboot into regular Mac OS. Next, we can run the script via terminal. So this will also close all of your open programs. Make sure that you save everything before you begin. Um, and make sure that at this point, your eGPU is not plugged in or it could damage the system. The script itself will tell you when to plug it in. Don't do it any other time. So we're gonna go to applications, utilities, open terminal. Type the following into terminal and hit enter at the end of the line. Then hit Y and enter to confirm when you're prompted. Then type in your computer password and enter when you're prompted for that. Then it will actually tell you to plug in the eGPU saying that it's giving you 20 seconds to do so. Do that and it'll try to automatically determine the info it needs from the GPU. Otherwise you can manually tell it the info if it needs when prompted. Then you're gonna wait a while after that and it'll eventually tell you that it's rebooting the system. This time and every time going forward, make sure that the eGPU is not plugged in when turning on the computer as it can cause an issue when booting up. Once it does reboot, you can plug in the eGPU with your NVIDIA card inside and an external display plugged into one or more of the output ports in the GPU and it should turn on the monitor and be recognized automatically. Now, if you get a black screen, but you can still see your mouse on the computer or the external monitor, just log out and then log back in and it should work after that. And then you're all set. Just make sure that you don't ever unplug the eGPU while the computer is on. Hot plugging is not supported at the moment. It'll just crash, essentially. Um, you can reboot, you'll be fine, but it, it's just not pleasant, obviously. Uh, shut it down first, and once the eGPU fan stops spinning, then you can unplug it, and then obviously turn it back on without the eGPU plugged in or whatever you need to do after that. There you go, guys. Uh, hope that worked out for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if it did or didn't. Um, also, if you can and this did help you, please uh, head to the link below to check out the developer who made the script. There's a few people, I think, involved, but the main page will direct you to everybody. Um, and just say thanks or even donate if you want, if this really did help you. Um, these guys worked really hard to make this as seamless as it is. Trust me, I've done it manually and it's a lot of steps. So kudos to them and try to help if you can. Otherwise though, also, if you guys wanna check out what gaming is like when using a Core and not using a Core on the MacBook i9 2018 version, 15 inch, uh, I'll leave a link below to my buddies 
Board at Works video where you can check out kind of his benchmarking and frame tests and all that other fun stuff. It's kind of interesting, so if you want to check that out. There you go, hope this helped some people, and if it did, please thumbs up it or share it, it's greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, check the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos because YouTube just doesn't notify anybody anymore, apparently. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.